make it solution for the test campaign. Okay. Wherein we are going to launch the new latest version, Powertronic 3.0. Okay. Which is going to have quick shifter compatibility as well. Okay. So this is the new harness which is going to have a map switch as well between the. Okay. Let me just focus on it. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Between the street. Tuning and the track tuning. Okay. Uh, or the highway tuning. You can switch among the maps okay. anytime. Just plugging in. Okay. So this is a map switch. Okay. You can choose your map however you want. You okay. can tune it. You can set it up for the versions okay. of the map. Super. Okay. Yeah. And this line goes to four connections. That is one is the TPS okay. throttle position sensor. Okay. To know your throttle values. Okay. And one go another goes to the ignition. Okay, I'm not sure if you can capture that, but that should be ignition. Okay. okay, coil. Okay, and the other one goes to the injector, which is below the top. Inside, okay. yeah, which is inside, okay. somewhere there. Okay, and the other one is going to be the crank position sensor, which is here. Yeah, it's a four-pin connector. Just plug and play. Okay, DIY. Anybody can do it. Okay, easy so to I install. You know, set to go. Super. So I just saw you carrying this huge uh, wiring kit. I mean, how easy is it to install? Maybe a layman can uh, install can it. it. We have a lot of videos online. Okay. So it doesn't take much time. Okay. So you see the videos. Okay. You get to know how to do it. So I mean, this guy Chetan, he just installed the uh, wiring harness in like what two minutes? Are not wrong. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe after the tuning and the maps, that would take some more time. But yeah, installation is really uh, easy and straightforward. If you're looking at the wiring, it goes with the frame of the bike and it connects to the battery as well, Chetan? Yeah, uh, one of the line goes to the battery now. Okay. okay. And that's done. Superb. So we'll just have to plug in the... Uh See, this is the stock coupler. It's a standby unit. Okay. Whenever you want to, you know, just go back to stock, stock settings. without removing any connections, okay. you can just do it with this. Okay. Remove the power tonic and just connect this and goes back to stock. Okay. So so what is this what you've installed right here? This is called a stand blown unit. I mean okay. uh, standby unit. Okay. Or a stock coupler. Okay. So it's a standby unit for the power tonic. You just want to go back to stock, you can go with this. Okay, fine. The, uh, starting the bike after fixing the uh, power tonics and that's the first crank. What's up my lovely friends, this is AJ390 here, so it's been quite a, a what do I say, a eventful uh, Saturday, uh, I got a call from uh, Race Dynamics, uh, if you don't know who Race Dynamics are, they make this uh, uh, Powertronics ECU for all kinds of cars, bikes. <laughs> Uh, basically it bumps the uh, the power and it makes the power more usable so i was uh, lucky enough to join their uh, testing uh, <coughs> team or whatever you want to call it and i spent a good uh, i don't know how long maybe four hours at the uh, workshop <coughs> so yeah f uh, fixing the uh, the module took about 10 minutes I mean these guys are experts he knew which plug was going in where there are about uh, uh, five or uh, six plugs uh, the uh, one of those plugs are uh, the TPS sensor o2 sensor uh, I, I don't know, I mean, there's too much of electrical stuff into that, but uh, yeah, getting to the point, uh, if you want to know how the bike is performing, it is, uh, how do I tell you, it's the mid-range is more punchier from 4000 to say 7000 RPM, uh, it should easily be able to do a power wheelie, it's become a lot, lot punchier. And 
and uh, the low revs uh, knocking has disappeared so basically uh, to put it in simple terms it feels like you know the bike is uh, uh, bumped up by say 3 or 4 bhp which definitely is not but it just feels like that the way the power is delivered it's a lot more linear more usable and it feels uh, pretty good to ride uh, so from bangalore we had about 5 uh, uh, or 8 uh, dukes and rcs they wanted to test out so i had applied for this uh, i think a month back a month ago and uh, they gave me a call today stating that uh, hey dude if you want to try it out you can drop in uh, at a garage a pretty nice place uh, really they do treat their customers really well i mean i'm not promoting their uh, product or whatever it is but just to uh, give you a glimpse or an idea on how uh, well they treat their customers there are a bunch of engineers and computer geeks sitting in the office and loading new maps all the time so when i was just about to leave i was actually done uh, in an hour so i was just about to leave and uh, he said uh, dude there's another map that's come up why don't you try it so again he uh, took the issue back and uh, uploaded those map that map so basically this has got uh, two maps in it right now and he said it can take up to 5 or 8 i'm not sure which is again switchable uh, you can't switch it on the go you can't uh, toggle between the maps on the go you will need to uh, get off the bike and uh, there's a plug uh, just below the seat so right now i have got uh, two maps on the bike i'm running on map 1 which is a lot uh, punchier i don't know how well they can tell i mean it was never uh, possible for me to ride in first gear clutchless in this kind of traffic it feels really nice i'm not sure how much the product costs because this is still in uh, uh <coughs> testing terms so let's see i'm pretty sure they're going to price it uh, really well and uh, most importantly if you're thinking you know uh, your engine life is going to reduce the reliability i mean that's the first thing which i look at because i use the bike for uh, touring city commuting and so i don't do track days or drags or race or whatever it is so obviously i need the bike to be reliable right so this is nothing got to do with the engine uh the only thing that is tweaked a little bit is the uh, the rev limiter is now open so 13000 rpm i have at my hands you know one twist of the throttle it goes all the way to 13000 but i would really never ever do that because the duke just doesn't love to be revved uh, post 9 9 and 1/2000 feels really <coughs> feels really hard in your heart <laughs> So oh, I'm just taking a long way back home. I just want to uh, open the throttle a little more, but a lot of traffic here. Doesn't look like I can do it. So anyways, yeah, tomorrow I'll be heading for a ride, a long one. So I should be able to test it out. I mean, there is map two as well, but. Uh, when i tested out the map 2 as soon as he uh, fixed in the uh, powertronic module uh, the map 2 felt really really uh, jerky and it was really bad there was no okay, let me open the throttle a little bit wow that was fast uh if you're looking at the uh, the rev limit light coming on well that's because i've set the uh, uh, light at uh, 6200 rpm so i'm not redlining the bike wow it feels so throttle feels really really responsive i mean that's one thing which every uh, bike I would love right just pinch the throttle and it goes 
look at that it has to go wrong which will not happen he said if anything has to go wrong he has given me a stock module as well which is again uh, kept below the seat all i'll have to do is take off the uh, powertronics uh, ecu and plug in the uh, uh, stock uh, module i think that's what they call it stock module i'm not that good with electronics but at least i know how it works and what are the connections given uh, th this bike currently currently uh, revs up to 13000 complete 13000 rpm there is no limiter so i'm assuming it should be faster than the other dukes and the mid range oh boy i'm just loving it second gear 20 speed without clutch it was just not possible there you go almost the power wheelie i was just not there in the right band so just a little bit of throttle a pinch of a throttle and you know it gives that surge which is really nice but at the same time you need to get used to it as well because if you're in traffic like this and you pinch the throttle open and if you don't know how much uh, uh, you know power is being given out it's going to be a little risky so he said be really careful learn how the you know the power is delivered and then start opening it up slowly again uh, to sum it up uh, i will end this video here and to sum it up in one line all i have to say is it feels like I've got like you know four or five more uh, extra horses under my ass. That's how it feels. So hopefully uh, I get to ride uh, tomorrow on the open highways to see how well this thing performs and uh, maybe post a complete detailed uh, review. So as of now, I'll make a move and thank you for watching, guys. So if you want to know more about uh, the Powertronics and how it works what's the cost and everything do like comment and share this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe as well yeah